Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be talking about how to get a five on AP Biology. So AP Biology is one of the harder AP subjects out there or AP examinations out there. And one of the reasons why that is, is because there are so many concepts, so many theories, so many vocabularies that you just have to memorize and it gets really overwhelming. However, the way I tackled it was for vocabulary, I just quizleted it out. Quizleted it out. You just have to know the vocabulary, you have to understand, and you have to be able to use it in a sentence. So being able to use it in a sentence would really help you um, understand the context of what the vocabulary is about and where you usually use it. For instance, you can't just like, plug in amino acid in unit seven where you're talking about natural selection it just doesn't make sense so you have to quizlet it out and just understand the context where the vocabulary would appear and secondly the concepts theories and basically the processes and cycles so there are a lot of processes in AP Biology where, that you have to understand, that you have to memorize. And the way I memorized it was I would first study it on a textbook, I would learn it and more or less know what happens at each step. But you definitely can't like completely memorize the whole thing. So what I did was I would Google a blank diagram, a blank diagram of the process. Say it's the cell cycle, like mitosis. Um, I would Google a blank diagram of mitosis and um, I would look at the blank light diagram and I would start describing the first, second, third, fourth, fifth step of mitosis and how it looks like, what it looks like, how it came to be, um, what transitions between each step. This really helps with you recalling the information from your brain instead of just like looking at your textbook and not knowing what's really happening, but you're just reading it and you're just kind of like, uh, okay, <clears throat> this way it's not as efficient. So by recalling, it will be a lot more efficient and you won't waste a lot of your time on just absent-minded learning. Next, the theories. So there are going to be theories where there are no diagrams. And for these theories, what I found to be really helpful was I would call my friend or I would have my friend sit next to me like on my bed while I will be explaining the theory to them like they're a kindergartner. So that I use the simplest language that anybody could understand to describe something really, really complex and intricate and difficult. I just said three words that mean the same thing, but you get it. Explain it to somebody like they're a kindergartner. This way, you know that you have a complete grasp of the concepts. And if you can't explain it to a kindergartner with really easy words, that means you did not understand what you were talking about. You were just yapping on about um, some words the textbook said. And that is not efficient learning. So remember, always speak to a kindergartner um, when you're memorizing AP Bio theories. So next, resources to help you study. Some resources I found to be really helpful while I was studying was Albert I.O. because it has practice questions that help with practicing concepts you learn. I do remember that there are um, premium options for Albert I.O. Um, personally, I didn't go that I didn't go down that path because I had practice problems myself. Um, with like Barron's, there are so many different like Princeton Review, there's so many different um, books that are like AP Bio examination preparation. Um, so I didn't use Albert IO premium version, but I did use the fundamental like functions of um, practice problems. I also used Fiveable. So Fiveable is one of the more widely known um, website there out there that's for AP examinations, preparations, and I found their study guides to be pretty useful when it came to like looking at everything um, on the AP curriculum and knowing what to prepare for. So that is definitely something that you can use to study and use to memorize vocabulary because they do have vocabulary on the study guides that you would 
probably find useful because I found it useful. Um, next, they also have online study sessions. So they're for free and you have a community of learners, of people who are going through the same stress, the same thing as you are. And it just provides a really great like atmosphere for learning because everybody wants to get the five and everybody's helping each other get the five. So I personally really like the study sessions. So there are times when you procrastinate a little too much and um, it is like two weeks until the exam and you still haven't prepared everything or reviewed everything. And this is where you call in the emergency button. I guess the emergency pathway is you look at the percentage of each unit. So each unit has a an approximate percentage of um, appearing on the exam. So I do recall knowing that unit six and seven, so natural selection, um, being one of the highest tested areas of the exam. So definitely memorizing the most important parts, the most frequently tested parts would be useful when it comes down to like two weeks until the exam and you really need to just knock it out of the ballpark. And so yeah, that is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. If you have any comments, please comment down below. Ask any questions. I will try my best to answer. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.